Right, okay, I thought I'd just shoot a, l uh, this is recording, is it not? Oh yeah, there it is. I just thought I'd shoot a quick video for all the folks out there who struggle to get their hands to uh, achieve uh, chord shapes because they think their hands are too small, too big, or whatever. Um, there's a reason behind this, and it's, it's a simple thing to remedy if you know what, what you're talking about here. And this is this is going to help me to illustrate the the thing that is the issue. Um, what happens is when you have your hand and this and and I'm I have small hands. I'm a stumpy handed uh, uh, sausage fingered dude. Yeah, right. And that's what it is. I haven't been blessed with massive hands like Jimi Hendrix or any of those guys. So chord stretches are a struggle for me. And one of the things that that I'm going to show you here is a way that I have to think about things. I always have to engineer my way around them. So, so you can see you've got your hand like that. Now, if, if you hold your hands and your fingers flat, and if I if I go down the, the the edge of the hand there, you can see all my fingers are straight. There's there's none of this going on or anything else like that. So my fingers are straight, and I'll just stretch them as wide as I can. And it isn't that wide. I do not have a wide stretch, like I say. So from the tip of my first finger to my little finger, I'm getting about 14 centimeters, which isn't big at all, right? So the thing is, when it comes my ruler broke. Uh, when it comes to uh, doing bigger hand stretches, bigger hand stretches, um, you know, I have to, to work at it. But the thing is, if you think about how you hold your cards when you're trying to hold cards or, or arpeggios or scales or anything else like that, then how you have your fingers is going to dramatically uh, in, uh, increase or decrease uh, the span that you have from the tip of your first finger to uh, to your pinky, yeah, right, to your little finger. So if you look there, like I said, hang on, I'll just do it in inches, and that's five and a half inch, yeah, right. So five and a half inches. There you go. So five and a half inches. Um, I'm, I've still got a ruler. Um, but if I go like this, just watch. And this is what people do when they try to hold a chord. They move their hands in like this. They go for this kind of a claw sort of shape thing here and expect that they're going to be able to play the chord. And they're not going to be able to play the chord because what happens is that contraction reduces the distance between the, the first finger and the little finger because the fingers like to move in uh, uh, like that. So if I measure from there, from the tip of the first finger to the, to the little finger, now I've gone to three inches. So I've reduced by just under half. The distance that I can achieve. So if you're struggling with a chord, you've got a chord, and you know, I just had a student in who, who couldn't play this lovely, there's a nice voicing of this major seven here. What I'm doing is I'm holding down uh, uh, the, the third fret on the D string, the G string, the B string, and the thin E string. So I'm holding that there, and then I've got my little pinky, my, my, my little finger here on the uh, fifth fret of the thin E string, and it gives us a nice major seven voicing. There. Now the thing is, if you try and keep that sort of hand shape there, what's going to happen? It contracts, and you know, I, I mean, I can do it there. But if you're if you're a if you if you're a beginner, then you know, it's like you don't know where it's going to go. And we talk about this putting this finger in the sweet spot. Sweet spot. Okay, can be a sweet spot. Buzzy. Crap. You, you you get a crap sound out of that one there. So so that there. If we have straight fingers, we can maximise that maximum. We can monopolise on the maximum stretch that we get there. Yeah, but if you if you if you grip your fingers around like that, you reduce your stretch. And this is where it comes in for for bigger chords, bigger chord voices that you're wanting. Let me put my glasses on. Can't see a bloody thing. Yeah. So yeah, but if I try and do this like this, look. I'm not going to do it because the thing is, my hand is is crook. It, and watch, can you see how it opens up? It's this contraction that is the thing that's going to open up your hand. Yeah, and the way that the, the the thumb helps facilitate that. So what you do is you need your thumb behind there to help you to keep that open. So this open hand. Now, if you like this, here's the thing to know: whether your your whether your wrist is riding high. Or whether your wrist is low like this. If if you could look in the mirror and you can see the back of your palm in the mirror, then that means you're going to be doing the widest stretch that you possibly can. You know, um, so so it just shows that that you you know uh, sometimes 
Little fingers can do a lot more if you think about it um, properly. Okay, that's the end of this video. Alright, I hope that's been useful. Okay, bye.